All right. Welcome to today's early stream and YouTube video. Um, we'll be doing day 15 of the advent of code. And the problem with doing it so early is that, well, we don't know how hard it is. We don't haven't heard any buzz. Good morning, little Annie. Um, let's get right to it. Also, you get to see early morning Matty. Uh, I've had coffee, but uh, hasn't kicked in yet. Anyway, let's see if we can make it work. So, day 15, Lens Library. This is a Haskell shout out, you know? There was a Camel shout out before. Now there's a Haskell shout out. Whoop whoop. Or as I like to refer to it as GHC plus Haskell. No, <clears throat> that was a joke on my Twitter. Anyway, so we get the data. The light is being collected. Large facility better in the mountainside. So there's a lava production facility. Danger, personal protective. Oh, ye. Okay, loose fitting hard hat. This is one of these. Um, exactly. And then there's a trebuchet. <laughs> I think they can shoot 300 kilos. Uh, no, 90 kilos, 300 meters. That's what a trebuchet can do. Anyway, um, push for help. We have more warning signs. Initialization manual. Okay. The hash algorithm is a way to turn any string. Oh, well, the holiday ASCII string helper algorithm. Okay. With a single number in the range of 0 to 25. To run the hash algorithm on the string, start with current variable of 0, then for each character in the string from the beginning, determine the ASCII code, insert a current value by the ASCII code you just determined. Okay, set the current value to itself, multiply by 17. Set the current value to the remainder of dividing itself by 256. Okay. Okay, <clears throat> let's see how it goes. Um, let's get started. What is our puzzle input? Wow. There's going to be some sort of fold, right? Uh, let me see. Example. Okay, this is the old one. We're moving this one over here, and we are going to do a main a <coughs> module main where ah this is the input still not quite awake module main where main io main equals uh, print hash. Uh, hash elk on hash. Okay, I think I'll need data dot char here, and we're gonna do hash as uh, at the language pragma here. Language. Oh my god. Language gg twenty twenty one. Hash oh, okay. I'm gonna take a series of string, no, a series of char, and it's going to return, this is a string, right? An int. Now oh, hash alg. So set the current value um, to the remainder of dividing itself by 
Okay, now uh, let's see. GGI. Uh, we do import data dot char. Now we're gonna use typed holes. I added that feature. It's so good. Did you do it? Exception, not a digit. Uh, okay. Ord. 72. Nice. Okay. So we find the ASCII value of the current character of the string. Okay, so the empty value, empty list is just going to be zero. Uh, no. Let me see. So hash alg is equal to hash alg prime zero where so hash alg prime and then we have like the list so if, if we have the current value is equal to curve alg okay now hash alg okay and um I'm wondering if I should just make this into uh, let's just do it let's just make it into so let's see so we have the uh, increase the current value so we're gonna say curve out plus ord of C okay and this is gonna be uh, fold all right. Let's do fold R. Mm. Um. Fold R and uh, hash alk prime. And we're going to do initial idea is zero. And we're going to, yeah. That this is the algorithm. Okay, and now hash alg c curve l. Okay, so we add the current value. <coughs> and then we uh, multiply that by 17. And then we take the remainder of dividing it by 256. Now, what does it do? Day 15. GTO. Day 15. Day 15. Dot HS. Gives us 84. <laughs> Let me see. Um. So it's multiplied by 17 to become 1, 2, 2, 4. Let me see. Okay. So we did... Um, it's supposed to be 52. Okay, so we did... Um, maybe this is just because it's fault hard. Sometimes I mess it up because it goes the other way around. Yeah, okay, it's supposed to be 52. Because <coughs> it's not the same, right? If it's not a... If the operation is not... Uh, import data dot list. Mm hmm <laughs> Actually, we don't need this. We can just say fold L. And then... Ah, uh, we do need it. Sorry. Fold L prime. Okay. And uh, so the hash is correct. It's a comma-separated list. Ignoring the line kind of this parsing, initialization sequence. 
To verify that your hash algorithm is working, the book offers a sum result running the hash algorithm on each step in the initialization sequence. Okay, so then we gotta do. Um, let's take this example here. <laughs> And let's go to day 12, day 12, we're going to catch this split on, we're going to split on all the commas. Do, 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 do. So we do, uh, <coughs> so this now let's see, read file example, okay, split on a comma. Um, filter not equal to we're supposed to ignore the um, print. <coughs> Oof. we're gonna we're supposed to print out um, okay and now let's map um we do the hash algorithm and everything. Okay. 30, 253, 97, 47, 14, Okay, we got it working for the example. So here's the input. Now let's paste it. Okay. Show more. Okay, so it's all one line. That's good. We don't need to filter this. Uh, might as well, though. Okay, and let's just see what it goes. Does what the input? Five one seven five five one. <laughs> All right, part one turn. Let's see. Okay, so the hash is working now. The book goes on to describe a series of two physics boxes, number zero two five five. Okay. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Focus light pressing the side of the fish box is potential to insert or move lenses and necessary. Along the wall running the box is a large library containing lenses organized by focal length. And you want this to hit one to nine. It's a hash map, nice. Manual arrangement procedure, okay. So each step begins with a sequence of letters that indicate the label of the lens on which this step operates. The result of running the hash algorithm on the label indicates the correct box for that step. Okay. Either an equal sign or a dash. Let's see. Let's get the example. Uh, let's close day 12 here. So equal one minus equal three yeah, equal to minus Okay, if the operation is dash, go to the relevant box and remove the lens with the given label if it is present in the box. Then move any remaining lenses as far forward in the box as they can go without changing the, their order. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
If there's not already a lens in the box with the same label, add the lens box immediately behind any lens that's already in the box. So just implementing a hash map. Okay, uh, box zero. Ah, okay, so it's like a list of values. CM equals to. Let's see. Okay, so um, hash map. Okay, so we're going to be maintaining an actual hash map. Int map dot straight as I am as I am import qual no so we do this qualified but we're gonna do import data dot int map int map I just need a word here that's true okay <coughs> Let's see. This is again a uh, full L prime over the operations. Uh, um, update. Update. Okay, and we're going to start with I am dot empty. where update and then uh, we're gonna take in uh hold l we're gonna take take in the cur map and we're gonna take in the up and we are going to say okay equals so let's see um it was always the first uh, two. We got label VP. Each step begins with a sequence of letters that indicate the label of the lens. The label will be even followed by character in case the operation to perform. Let me see. Uh, in the input. Yeah, there, there's, there's not just two letters, but there's, there's no digits in it, right? It's always just letters. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. day 14. Uh, save, I guess. Day 12. Should have done some cleaning before. Okay, so. Case. Okay, so label. Label. Uh, rest. It's going to be... Um, uh, span of uh, is alpha on up. It like let's make this CMD and then this is up span alpha up. Um, and this is going to be an equal sign. S rest. Okay. Um, let's make this a where thing actually. Uh, where okay. Um, now here we're gonna say a L hash is equal to hash elk on label. Now this is gonna be case S of 
Uh, this is supposed to be CMD. And, uh, right, we need to import it. And it doesn't want us to do... Right, okay. It's complaining about the type hash map. Takes in a string and returns... Um, map. Um, Uh, okay, so we actually keep the label around. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, and... Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right, it's a list of strings. Because we split on the... Okay, so now we have the label, and okay, so if the sign is uh, equals, then we do something, if it's minus, we do something else. Let's make this into a card case, as... So if it's uh, this, then we have to do uh, n is read at int uh, r, and then we do something. Otherwise, we just make sure that s is this minus thing, and that's equal to something. Otherwise, error. Uh, in hash map show we show something here CMD okay uh, so <clears throat> if there's a dash go to the relevant box and remove the lens with a given label if it is present in the box And then move any remaining lenses far forward um, in the box as they can go without changing the order. So I think this, uh, what this map is going to be. It's actually going to be a uh, up D. It's going to be an int map of uh, of a list <coughs> of string comma int. And we're going to take in a string, and we return also string comma int. And then I'm just going to this is going to fail. Wait. <laughs> okay, if it says equal, okay, if it says dash, go to the relevant box and remove the lens with a given label if it is present within in the box. Then move any remaining lenses as far as forward in the box as they can go without changing their order. Um... So then we just, we just, uh, what we do here is we do cur map, uh, map, so I am C M is just, so <clears throat> the default case here is going to be, um, 
just return car map. Otherwise, so then we do nothing. Okay, um, undefined, let's just say that here. The minus is... Um, so we're actually going to look up the... Um, the... So, just E. Ah, uh, no, I think we could do update into map. Ding, 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 tick, 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 tick. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's say source uh, int map strict. Let's see, update. Update <coughs> the expression. I'll set the value at x if it is in the map. If as fx is nothing, element is deleted. Ah, okay, let's just make it. It's okay. We'll just insert it again. Um, so just uh, entries is cur map I am dot being in of the L hash. Okay, and then what I want to do is I want to say um, cur map. Um, ah, okay, this one is just update. So update, and we're gonna update be updating the L hash of curve map okay so here we have the entries so we have a we have we're gonna say just uh, adjust it's not update it's just um, I am dot adjust and then we're just gonna go filter um, Are we going to remove all the ones that are the map? Okay, the label um, filter first, uh, not equal to label dot first. And it doesn't like this for some reason. Okay, <clears throat> so the I am just as easy. We just filter. Okay, uh, we don't even need this. Dash, relevant box, remove the lines, we'll give a label of the present. If the operation character is an equal sign, it will be followed by the number indicating the focal length of the lens and needs to go into the blurred box. Make sure to use the label markers to mark the lens with the label. Okay, if there is already a lens in the box with the same label, Replace the old lens with a new lens. Remove the old lens and put the new lens in its place, not moving any other lens in the box. Okay. Um. <clears throat> Maybe we should maintain like a set. Let's see. So we're going to do all this. Hmm. One plus the box number of the lens in question. So it'd be very nice, right, if we didn't have to loop through all the entries at the same time. Uh, let's see, but it's okay. I think uh, replace the little lens with the new lens. Let's just see how fast it goes. Put the new lenses in place, not moving any other lenses in the box. 
Okay, so here we are going to say um, map. So, um, So then we're just going to do, uh, we need to curve map, okay? So here, we need to say, uh, yeah, okay, if, we're, if it's not in the map, we need to add it, right? Curious curve map, I am off, uh, if it's, if it's nothing, Curve map. I am uh, L hash. If there's nothing there, then we want to just add the lens. I would say label, comma, and easy. And it doesn't like this because ah, uh, then this is gonna be. Hmm. Um, Her map I am dot insert. Maybe I need to do it the other way around. I am dot insert. Ah, I need to keep right the key also. I am dot insert uh a hash curve map. So I, I insert it into the map if, they, if there's nothing there. Uh, just uh, entries. Okay. <coughs> so first of all, I will. I'm gonna go. Uh, I just write up. Uh, up the entries with the. Update entries, entries. And here I need to provide the label and N. So I'm going to write here up the entries. Um, L, N. So if I have the empty list, so if it was not in the list, then we just return, uh, we add it to the list. Okay, um, it is not already a lens in the box of the same label. Okay, and then up the entries, a comma and other label L1 L2 and we don't care about the entries rest X's else we don't care about the rest so if L1 is equal to L2 this is going to be um, <coughs> uh, then it's the same L1 LN Less and we don't touch the rest. Mm -hmm. And uh, if it's if this is not the case, then we don't care what this is. Oh, let's just see here. Okay. Yeah, we don't care what this is. Uh, we care what it is. It's L, and it's, these are not equal. And then this is going to be L in front of the rest of the uh, entries. L1 and LS. Okay, um, so these are the new entries. We do... Um, Opti entries label come n 
I only do I am dot adjust. L hash. <laughs> so we actually just need to check um, if we have the member of it. Oh, member. Yeah. Okay. We can do if l hash I am dot member. Then else, I feel like this should be some I am dot up. The expression uh, updates the value k okay, if it is in the map. It updates um let me see alter the expression alter alter can be used insert delete or update the value in short lookup okay yeah so i think we just say alter here <clears throat> ah okay i mean this works also so either we adjust or we alter now let me see what the uh, print hash map on the example is <coughs> so we have uh, 0 rn1 cm2 yeah box 1 doesn't have anything box 3 OT7, AB5, PC6. Okay, good. Um, the focusing power of a single lens. Okay. Um, Add up the focusing power of all the lenses. Okay, so now we need to um, we get the elements of the list. So let's see. <coughs> So part one is equal to this, right? So here we also print part one. Part two, <coughs> also string to int. Um, so now we're going to do um, I am dot LMs. Uh, we don't, we don't want the, yeah, oh wait, LMs. Yes, I think. Ah, uh, no, then we don't get the... We want the Asox, right. Asox. Um, and then let's just filter out. Uh, filter... Not null dot seconds. We don't want those ones in there. <coughs> so zero R and one R C M two. 
Okay, but uh, it starts at 1, right? No, okay. Box R and R and 1, box 0. Okay. So, um Now, let's add the the ones. So, let's say to the That's the sum of the map uh, focus power so where focus power of uh, so this is the box box I and entries was equal to um, let's see uh, so for all the entries we are gonna say tip width and then it's one dot and then okay so now okay I can just map second to the entries right so let's see entries let's just do it in the in there so let's see sip with um, so this is gonna be slot index and uh, I don't care about the actual label do we? No. One plus box number, slot number, focal length. Okay. Slot number, slot index, and then the number here. This times I. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then. So it's going to be one and two and two and then. Um, okay, let's just do box i times si times n here, right? <laughs> Focus power, type int. Um, I think this is the what we want. <coughs> Couldn't match. Um, sip with in the equation. Okay, int with actual title list events. Mm -hmm. Box i is int. This is a list of string comma int. Yes, and then this is. Ah, uh, and I need to do take this sum. <laughs> so it says one forty five here. Ah, uh, because it's box I plus one. One forty five. <clears throat> Great. I think this is just what we want. And now let's see what it says for the input. Two eight six oh nine seven. All right, we did day 15. Not bad at all. Didn't take us too long either. Um, that's it for today.
I won't be streaming tomorrow because I'm traveling, but I'll stream on Sunday and uh, or hopefully and then just catch up. We can do it. We are gonna make it. Anyway, thanks for tuning in today and uh, yeah, see you on Sunday. Okay.